Hello, Rev Sack of the Visual Circle Church. And uh, what I wanted to talk about today is a little something called absinthe. For those of you who do not know, absinthe is an alcoholic beverage about 70% uh, alcohol, which originated in Europe, I don't know how many years ago, probably in the 16 or 1700s. It's made out of wormwood, and at one time it was considered to be a narcotic mixed with an alcoholic beverage. Of course, this is not true. Absinthe itself is considered a spirit. Anyway, it was widely used throughout the 1800s. Extreme socialites such as Benjamin Franklin, even George Washington, often drank absinthe. And it was a favorite among artists and writers and painters of uh, the 1800s. They once called it the drink that fueled the fires of creativity. But um, at the beginning of the 20th century, it was outlawed in the USA, and it has been banned in the USA for over a century. Until 2007, um, it was made legal to import absinthe once again. And uh, there are, currently, there are only two manufacturers of true absinthe that import to the, uh, that export to the USA. I can't name the names because I don't have permission, but um, I did purchase a bottle of one from the liquor store the other day. It was extremely expensive, about $100 per bottle for a fifth. And uh, it's a pretty nasty taste and drink. It tastes like uh, black jelly beans mixed with uh, dog piss and PGA. But um, uh, the reason why I'm happy about it is I'm glad to see things like this becoming legal in America again. We are one step closer to liberating our people and letting people decide things for themselves. And the next step will be to legalize marijuana and some of our drugs. I'd like to see that happen. I think a lot of people would.